بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم سو ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس ٹوڈے آور ٹاپک از بارن ہیبر سائیکل تو یہ ایک بہت ہی امپورٹنٹ ٹاپک ہے آپ کا آپ کے ایگزام کی اینگل سے اور کمپٹیٹو ایگزامس کے بھی حساب سے سو واٹ ایکچولی دس بارن ہیبر سائیکل از لاسٹ کلاس میں ہم نے پڑھا تھا فارمیشن آف آئنک سبسٹینسز اور آئنک کمپاؤنڈس سو وہاں پہ ہم نے دیکھا تھا ایگزامپل فارمیشن آف سوڈیم کلورائڈ فرام کیٹائن از دیٹ از سوڈیم پلس اینڈ اینائن دیٹ از کلورائڈ پھر اس دوران ہم نے کہا تھا وین دی دی کیٹائن اینڈ دی اینائن دے ول کم کلوزر اینڈ دے فارم اے بانڈ دیٹ از کال دا آئنک بانڈ اینڈ resulting in the formation of sodium chloride. Then we discussed this, when there is formation of one mole of this ionic compound from its constituent ions in the gaseous state, the amount of there will be release of energy and that release of energy is called as the latest energy. This was our last topic. So, if you have not seen the last topic, please check our website, this YouTube channel that is Concise Chemistry. Check the topic that is the latest energy. ناؤ بارن ہیبر سائیکل سے جو یہ انرجی چینجز اس میں ہوتی ہے فار ایگزامپل ہمیں کلورائڈ کو بنانا ہے اوبویسلی اٹ ول بی ویل میک اٹ فرام دی کلورین گیس سی ایل ٹو سوڈیم اس کو ہم بنا سکتے ہیں فرام دا سوڈیم ایٹم اینڈ دس از این الکلی میٹل فائن اینڈ دس از این ہیلوجن دس بلانگز ٹو ہیلوجن فیملی ٹھیک اب کلورین کو سی ایل نگیٹو میں کنورٹ کرنا اور سوڈیم کو سوڈیم پلس میں کنورٹ کرنا کیٹائنک فارم میں اور پھر دونوں کا کمبائن ہو کے سوڈیم کلورائیڈ بنانا اٹ انوالو لاٹ آف انرجی چینجز تو وہ انرجی چینجز کو انڈرسٹینڈ کرنے کے لیے وی ہیو دس بارن ہیبر سائیکل فائن سو دس بارن ہیبر سائیکل از بیسکلی یوز ٹو انڈرسٹینڈ دی دی انرجیٹکس اور انرجی چینجز which are involved during the formation of an ionic substance. Fine. That's called as the Born-Haber cycle proposed by Born and Haber. They were two German scientists and they proposed this in around 1916. Fine. So this is all about the basics of Born-Haber cycle. Now let us go to the Born-Haber cycle. Take an example. We have an example of the sodium chloride because we know sodium chloride. We use it in day-to-day -day life. We taste it. We deal it very easily without any problem. So, this ko, this ki example in this, we can understand it better. So, let us take the example of sodium chloride formation. Take it. So, we have to make sodium chloride. That means sodium will combine. We know it's a metallic form, so we'll write it S. So, this will. Combine with the chlorine atom, since chlorine is in the form of molecular form, that is Cl2, gas form, in the gaseous state. So we have formation of sodium chloride crystal, our ionic compound. So that is a solid compound. Or this is called as the formation of sodium chloride. So the energy change. That is enthalpy change. We write it delta H F. Enthalpy of formation of sodium chloride from sodium and this. Fine. Now, how will it be made? Sodium chloride. How will it be made? This cation or anion be made? That we'll see. So, what it will do? First of all, let us take from sodium, since it is in the uh, solid form, solid state. So, we have to convert this into the gaseous state. Because we have said. कि लेटेस्ट एनर्जी इज द अमाउंट ऑफ एनर्जी रिलीज्ड व्हेन द कॉन्स्टेंट आयंस द कैटायन एंड एनायन दे विल मेक एन आयनिक बॉन्ड बट इन द गैशियस स्टेट ठीक सो व्हेन वन मोल ऑफ दैट सब्सटेंस इज रिलीज्ड वी से द एनर्जी रिलीज्ड व्हेन वन मोल ऑफ दैट सब्सटेंस रिएक्ट्स और वन वन मोल ऑफ दैट सब्सटेंस इज फॉर्मड द अमाउंट ऑफ एनर्जी व्हिच इज रिलीज्ड That's called as the latest energy, but in the gaseous phase. So this we have discussed in the last class. So sodium has to be converted into gaseous state. 
So this process of converting a solid material or solid substance into the gaseous phase is called as sublimation. So the energy required, that's called sublimation energy. So that means it will absorb the energy. We need energy here. That's called as the sublimation energy. So you have to convert sodium from solid phase to the gaseous phase. Number one. The sublimation energy is required. Second. Now sodium has to be converted into sodium plus. That means basically we are taking one electron away from the outermost shell of sodium. We know its atomic number is 11. So electronic configuration which is last orbit shell or last subshell hai, that is your uh, 3s. So we have to electron from there. So it becomes uh, sodium plus. Now it attains the stability. Octet is complete. So you have sodium plus. So there is release of one electron. So I will show it by minus E. That is loss of one electron. So it is sodium plus. Now electron ko nikal ne ke liye you again require the energy that is called as the ionization energy. That means we are basically converting the sodium into the ionic form. Fine. So this is second step. So uh, now we have this ion available with us. That is a cation. So this is in the gas phase. Fine. Abdul Sahib, ye jo Cl2 hai, we have to convert this into atomic form. Dekhi. When you have a chlorine, chlorine available, sorry, chlorine and chlorine, the bond between them is the, uh, co uh, this is the covalent bond. Isko break karna hoga, then only we'll get the atomic chlorine. That's chloride atom. So isko break karni ke liye, we require the energy that's called as the dissociation energy. So, we have to step here. That is, we have to convert this Cl, Cl2 into Cl. That's atomic form. Now, since we are writing half, so we write it chloride atom. So, this is called as the dissociation energy. And the chlorine is always in the molecular form, gas form. So, we did not worry about the sublimation process. So, you require energy that is dissociation energy. But we write 1 by 2D because this is half of that. So we have now atomic chlorine, this chloride available. Now we have to convert this into an ionic form. So this electron which release was they will accept that electron to form Cl negative. Its atomic number 17 hai. its outermost shell has 7 electrons. Uh, that is shell has 7 electrons. So it will take this one electron to form uh, the chloride negative, its octet is complete. Take. So now it is a stable one. So Cl negative. This is in the gas phase. So now our ions are available. Okay. Here, when uh, uh, an atom it takes the electron, now it, during this process, the energy is released. That's called as electron affinity. So we write it electron affinity here. I'll write it here. Synergy changes electron affinity. So now this and this ion they will join together. So they will join together in the gas state. So what they will form is ultimately our sodium chloride is formed. Uh, when the two uh, ions, the cation and anion, they will join together. That means we are basically very distance from the very far distance. So we are bringing them from the infinity to some certain distance where the ionic bond is formed. So during the formation of this ionic bond, energy is released. That's called as the latest energy. So this is our born hyper cycle. Now, based on this diagram, we can write the uh, we can write the enthalpy of formation of sodium chloride that is basically start from here sublimation energy plus go to second here 1 by 2 D this step dissociation plus ionization energy plus electron affinity T 
ठीक एंड देन प्लस लेटिस एनर्जी सो नाउ वी हैव टू कैलकुलेट लेटिस एनर्जी सो अगर आपके पास ये डेटा अवेलेबल है यू कैन इजली कैलकुलेट द एंथेल्पी ऑफ फॉर्मेशन अगर आपके पास एंथेल्पी ऑफ फॉर्मेशन अवेलेबल है यू कैन कैलकुलेट द लेटिस एनर्जी सो दैट मींस लेट अस टेक लेटिस एनर्जी हियर माइनस यू इसको यहां पे लेके आते हैं एस प्लस हाफ ऑफ डी प्लस आयनाइजेशन एनर्जी आई plus electron affinity and then minus enthalpy of formation so with the help of this relation you can easily calculate the latest energy for sodium chloride ya koi bhi aapka ionic crystal ho ionic substance ho you can calculate the latest energy with the help of this data available यू कैन ऑल्सो कैलकुलेट एंथेल्पी ऑफ फॉर्मेशन या कोई भी कैलकुलेट कर सकती हो अगर आपके पास रेस्ट ऑफ द डेटा अवेलेबल है सो दिस इज इन जनरल बॉर्न हाइबर साइकिल एंड इट्स इंपॉर्टेंस अब इसमें एक इंपॉर्टेंट कॉन्सेप्ट और आता है दैट इज कॉल्ड एज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट दैट इज कॉल्ड इलेक्ट्रॉन एफिनिटी ये जो क्वेश्चन है ये बहुत ही इंपॉर्टेंट है दैट इज इलेक्ट्रॉन एफिनिटी सॉरी दैट इज कॉल्ड एज दोटोन एफिनिटी नॉट इलेक्ट्रॉन एफिनिटी A concept called as proton affinity. मैं इसकी deep में नहीं जाऊंगा just basic concept because sometimes it does come in the exam. Proton affinity means हमारे पास कुछ chemical species है for example we have ammonia or we have BF three. uh we can take examples of let us say even alcohol now we know that this is a lone pair here ammonia has a lone pair here it has a vacant orbital available theek so what they do is they they can easily take protons from any other species a, a protic acid theek for example hcl So they can take protons from here, H C H plus, H plus. So now, since they can take the protons, that means they act as the basis. Simple. I mean, I'll just say, "I'm not going to go into depth." So they can act as the basis. So bases are those substances which can actually abstract a proton, or they can accept a proton. Now, let us stick to the ammonia. So if it, if it takes a proton. So it forms NH4 ammonium ion. ठीक. So यहाँ पे we don't have the ions here. Rather we have a neutral molecule and the ion here to form ammonium ion. So this tendency of any base to take a proton to form the corresponding uh, the you know anion the cation. So this is called as the proton affinity. So this proton affinity also indirectly we can calculate with the help of boron haber cycle so i will not go into this because i don't think that that there's a need to go in the detail of this so proton affinity also we can calculate with the help of the uh, boron haber cycle uh, different bases have different proton affinity based upon their strength the you know the basic strength so proton affinity also we can calculate with the help of boron haber cycle so this is all about the basics of boron haber cycle aur latest energy ko calculate karne ke liye hamare paas aur ek uh bahut hi important equation hai that's called as the born landy equation so we have one more equation for calculation of the latest energy that is born landy equation so this is also very important equation for the calculation of latest energy of ionic substances so please stay with us this will see in the next lecture so please if you have any questions about the born haber cycle you can write down in the comments or you can put up a message or you can write down in the whatsapp group 
I can give you the number you can write on this 8491857406 you can write a message here or you can write down in the comments so I will try my best to give you the appropriate answer or tick so this is all for the day so in the next class we'll see the Bornland equation